Hello my dear students. How are you? I hope you all are well. Welcome you all in online class. Today I will discuss about spinning of cotton yarn and yarn to fabric. Means we will discuss this how fibers are made to fabric in different way. Okay, let's start. As you know, we have varieties of materials that are made of cotton such as clothes, bed sheets, fishing nets. In order to make them use, we can't use fiber directly. It does not have required length and strength. That's why we can't use it directly. Okay. So, cotton fibers are bring together and make yarn. Before making yarn, cotton fibers are twisted. Due to twisting, fibers come close to each other and get we get long and strong string. So the process of making yarn from the fibers is called spinning. In this process, fibers from a mass of cotton wool are drawn out and twisted and this brings fibers together to form a yarn. As you, you can see the picture, the cotton fiber from the cotton plant that is actually drawn out by the process of ginning. And after ginning, spinning is done. And spinning is done after twisting the cotton fibers by hands. Then cotton yarn are produced. So how this spinning method is done? So to continue the process, there is need of spinning devices. Okay, previously or earlier times, there uh, the people use hand spindle or tuckly, and uh, also hand, one hand operated device that is charkha. Charkha was icon of Mahatma Gandhi during uh, pre independence movement as. It was popularized by Mahatma Gandhi and he encouraged the people to wear the homespun, homespun fibers or homespun yarn netowned as khadi and boycott the clothes of Britain or British people. So they made a body called khadi for poor villagers and uh, also make industry on khadi to make more khadi cottons. Nowadays spinning machines produce yarn on large quantity and good quality. The spinning machine are due to advancement of technology. Next we comes to the yarn to fabric. There are many ways by which fabrics are made from yarns. Mainly the two processes these are weaving and knitting. You can see the picture. Here is different colors of yarns are there. And they are weaved in on a loom. And uh, just this is weaving on the upper side. And the lower side that is the knitting. That is uh, also knitting of sweater. And it is on, uh, here only using of one yarn. So let's say in depth. Weaving. The process of arranging two sets of yarn together to make a fabric is called weaving. Here two yarns are used and they are interconnected to each other to make the perfect fabric. And the weaving of fabric is done on looms. You can see the loom and uh, the loom is either hand operated and power operated. Okay. 
Next comes to knitting. In knitting, a single yarn is used to make a piece of fabric. Means, so this is the main difference between knitting and weaving. In knitting, a single yarn is used, but in weaving, two yarns are used. They are interconnected with each other. Okay, a single yarn gets pulled out continuously as the fabric gets unraveled. Some examples such as socks and some sweaters, many other clothing items are uh, made of knitted fabrics. Okay, so when uh, once you pull one end, it will open out the whole fabric that has been prepared in case of knitting. Knitting is also done by hand and also on machines. So you can uh, make a overview of the full process from fiber to fabric. Uh, fiber, where it is comes from, actually from cotton plants. Here I have only uh, drawn such uh, overview of cotton. Cotton balls to fi fabric. Okay, cotton balls to fiber, fiber to yarn, then fabric. Here actually cotton balls that we uh, get from cotton plants and from cotton plants with the process of uh, ginning from the cotton balls we are getting the fiber and fiber is spinning uh, fiber is spinned out uh, to make it yarn and yarn are being used as fabric by two process one is weaving and another is knitting that I have already discussed in the previous slide okay I hope you understood it if you have any queries ask me in the e-portal school e-portal okay and on the next day I will discuss about the history of clothing material and also I will discuss some question answers uh, okay so your homework for today is what is the main difference between weaving and knitting Okay, do it and show it to me in the e-portal. Okay, thank you students.